Hi there fellow hikers and welcome to Waterfall Way which is uh, just outside of Kalani in southeast Queensland and today we are going to Queen Mary Falls, I think it's Browns Falls, Dags Falls, Cars Lookout and just checking out this scenic rim area so I hope you enjoy it. Well, welcome to the scenic rim and what they call Waterfall Way and otherwise known as Spring Creek Road. This includes Browns Falls, Dags Lookout and the Falls, Cars Lookout and the highlights of the day is Queen Mary Falls. Coming from Brisbane, it'll take about two and a half hours and the Gold Coast about three. This is about 10 kilometres from the small town of Kalani. We started our journey from here as the roads were closed from the other side coming from Boona. It's also a nice order to do them in too. Our drive in was an early morning rise, but an amazing start to see this hot air balloon setting off on its flight. Waterfall Way is a 15 kilometre stretch of road with four main waterfalls or lookout points. There's another couple thrown in there for views on the countryside too, but we didn't stop at all. This was an easy road to drive on and all sealed, good enough for a standard two wheel drive vehicle. First stop for the day was Brown Falls picnic area and car park and ready to get underway. Well, Brown Falls is first and uh, it's only 600 metre walk, so it should be nice and quick, but uh, I do think we've uh, got a few rocks and stuff to climb over, so let's see what it's like. Brown Falls is a 600 metre walk along a rough track. The water level will determine how easy it'll be and how far you'll actually get down. Therefore, summertime would sometimes be easier because you can walk through the water but wintertime has less rain and the water levels will be low and more room to move around. Unfortunately, we're visiting during wintertime, but after some heavy rainfall. So I wouldn't recommend this as your best time to go. It was rather difficult and we crossed the track a few times. Some crossings were easier than others and thought it might be easy to hurt yourself as well, so be careful. I looked into photos and videos of visits from other people after this visit, so I know it can be easier. Biggest tip, it's not the easiest to get over when there's a lot of water around. So uh, maybe leave this one for a little bit further into winter. Seems the actual Brown Falls is a little further up the river, but we only got as far as these cascades. Due to the water level, lack of room, we couldn't really go any further. The water was freezing, it was just too high to get around. But the water was raging and it was very loud. I can understand why they call it Brown Falls because it's very muddy and brown. Short drive up the road and we get to the easiest lookout point, Dags Falls.
this one, Dags Lookout and the waterfall. You stop, you're here for five minutes in a nice, beautiful lookout and that water is just amazing. This is a roadside lookout point and only a few metres to access the platform and see the waterfall below. It's a fantastic drop of 38 metres and well worth the stop. Another few kilometres along the road and we get to the large car park for Queen Mary Falls. There is a caravan park across the road, which is convenient if you're looking for somewhere to stay. But this is a great coffee stop, a small souvenir shop, and where you can feed the wild rosella birds and king parrots. We just watch them hang out on the ground, picking up all the excess seeds left around. We did feed some of these birds in a recent video from O'Reilly's in Lamington National Park and I'll put a link into the description below if you want to check that out. As for Queen Mary Falls, there is a two kilometre, 40 minute hike that you can complete to go to the bottom of the falls. But unfortunately, that was actually closed on our visit and a little disappointing. So we will have to check out that another day. Lucky there was still a small hike that you could see from the top of the falls. So we did this one instead. Both of the hikes actually lead from the Queen Mary Falls car park area. You seriously, on this walk, you don't have to go too far. Maybe a couple of hundred metres and it's all flat ground. Before you know it, you're already at the first lookout point. This one's called the Cliff Lookout. Obviously you can see the cliff face over there and you can also see the Queen Mary Falls Lookout, which we're going to next is probably another couple of hundred meters around. You can hear the falls, you can hear it in the background. You can't really see a lot because of all the trees around. So, uh, but hopefully you'll see some more over at the other lookout. Walk another couple of hundred metres and you get to the best lookout point to see the falls. Depending on the amount of water, you might be covered in the waterfall's misty spray. You can definitely see this on the track being so wet. The Queen Mary Falls plunges 40 metres into the valley floor and especially good after a fair bit of rainfall. Unfortunately, it was this heavy rainfall that caused a landslip and stopped us from going down into the valley. But still, an amazing day out to see this. So this is Queen Mary Falls Lookout. It was a, a quick 600 metre walk, very easy to get to and beautiful waterfall. It's such a shame we couldn't go down the bottom today, but um, still an amazing lookout. This can be turned into a loop track and walk in some more of the bushland, or you can choose to walk back the way you came. Another quick drive up of the road, and this is our last stop for the day at Cars Lookout. This was another easy spot to see, just a short walk from where you parked the car. This one allows you the higher views over the valley, which looks amazing and green right now with all the recent rain. Waterfall Way and Queen Mary Falls was a great day out, but check out other spots that are a brilliant day trip from Brisbane with this compilation video next. See you in the next one, guys.